Frame it so that just this puff is in the shot, like this. Sit there, and put just this in the shot, and I'll sit there and go like this. You know. It makes sense. Go. We try to haunt the house that they move into, Jeffrey and Catherine, and um, we don't do a very good job, so we have to get help. So we get Michael Keaton comes and, and as a, he's as a ghost goes. He's dead in this film and he's dead in this town. <laughs> he's a living doll to me. And, um, well, they don't really know what to do at first. Uh, we wreak havoc on their life. Actually, it's the humans haunting the ghosts is what it actually is. We're just making their life hell. I play Charles Dietz, who is a uh, real estate developer in New York, who's had a bit of a nervous breakdown, and he decides that he has to move with his family to some place quiet in the country, so he can relax. Caught you off guard, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> it's not an effects movie so much, although there's lots of effects in it. It's about the interaction of the characters. It's difficult in so far as you have to really use your imagination to imagine things that aren't in the shot at the time. You do a scene, let's say you and I, and they'll say, now at this point, the four-headed reptile is rearing up to bite you, and you have to react to it, and you don't see anything. We're reacting to a blank blue screen or something. So that's hard. And the other part is that you, you have to do it many times. This is a movie that we've done a lot of takes, not performance-wise, but uh, technically. There have been a lot of takes to get everything just right, technically. Is doing something like this with all these special effects and having to react to things that aren't there, is that fun or is that more difficult than it is fun? It's a pain in the butt, actually, uh, <laughs> reacting to things that aren't there. It's, uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was fun, but it, but it was hard. I think it was hard reacting to things that weren't there. You know? But Gina was there, and that, and that was easy. It was fun to have Gina there. If you saw a film like Blade Runner, which on a visual level, at least for myself and for a lot of people, you couldn't believe how intense it was visually and how different and how interesting it was, at the very least, without discussing the characters and the story in this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Al Hood. Um, everybody. Um, the, it's, it's gonna be unbelievably visually interesting, I think. I think you've ne you're not gonna see things you're going to see things in this movie you've never seen before. I think people are going to be mind blown by what they see on a visual level. And then the story, I think, is funny and the performances are good. Performances are good. So you were saying, I'm sorry. I don't think that's all No, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Needless to say, you know, we get a little stir crazy here. No. No, no? Is that not right, Elvin? Okay. Okay, thank you. Great. Thank hey, you. thank you. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.